I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our Python playlist and we're gonna look at how to migrate data from CSV to Microsoft Access, uh, which is uh, a migration that's not totally obvious in how to do it. And so I thought what I would do is uh, go through a demonstration of that today, which uses uh, PyODBC and uh, SQL Alchemy and some other goodies. So without further ado, let's get to our migration from CSV to Access. Okay, so I've got this uh, CSV file in Excel here and uh, I've just opened it in uh, Excel and uh, you can see it's got a company ID, you know, work code, some hours, date worked and stuff like that. And uh, this is pretty typical of what we might see. If I open this in uh, my Notepad++, you can see uh, what, the, what the file looks like underneath. I can open the file and scroll through it. You can see, uh, let's see how many rows. So it's got 445 or 444 rows plus one row as a header at the top there. So this is pretty typical of what you might see when you have a CSV file. And I'll go ahead and create an access table here in our usual uh, database that we've been using. And uh, what I'll do first, I'm going to throw an index number on there uh, because the, uh, the pandas uh, uh, to CSV usually puts an index column on it. And this will just make it easier. Um, this is if you're, you know, directly, um, you know, dumping data into access from a CSV. Uh, there are other ways if you need to do just certain columns and things like that, you can do that as well. But today we're just taking that full table plus the index and we're just going to dump it into access. And so I'll create these uh, fields here. I've got company, employee, uh, date worked, uh, billable hours. I'm making sure that my, you know, my column names are matching the, the uh, header names exactly uh, on my CSV file. And, uh, and that's really going to help uh, to make sure everything goes through. So work code with a space between work and code, even though that's not good database design. That's the name of the field here. And so what you could do is you could uh, run all of your data into a temporary table in Access or in another database if you're using another database. And then, you know, transform that data and move it into data, you know, if you have properly designed tables without spaces in them and things like that. So um, I'll save this table and I'll call it uh, billable hours and uh, oh, uh, I'll skip that and I'll just uh, add our own index here. So I'll just make the uh, index field the index or pardon me the primary key and uh, that's gonna make sure that each row is unique and uh, we can move on. And there we go there's our table opened and uh, we can move on. So I'm gonna go into uh, Python. I did all of this in uh, Python 32-bit um, and uh, since the drivers for my access and everything were all 32-bit. And so um, I'm going to start off here and I'm going to uh, save it first of all and then I'm going to import uh, pandas as pd and then uh, I'm going to use uh, URL lib um, and that's, uh, that's a library that's going to help us put together sort of a specially crafted um, URL that is just for our data access, and uh, we'll also get um, create engine from SQL Alchemy, and uh, that's going to give us um, sort of <clears throat> what we need to connect to the access database and you know read and write um, with a nice sort of uh, translation layer in between there, and uh, that's something that uh, is is very very handy. So I'll give some feedback to the user, you know, print opening CSV so that we can see what's happening. And, uh, and then I'll create a CSV path and I'll put the R in there so that our backslashes uh, work properly. And, uh, and then I'll just get our data frame. So our data frame is going to be uh, uh, pandas.readcsv and we'll just read our CSV path. and. Uh, <clears throat> That should uh, sort of basically pull everything from that CSV into our data frame 
and it's going to take that first column uh, or the first row pardon me it's going to put those into uh, uh, into the column names and I'll print the uh, head and tail of our data frame here and uh, <clears throat> and we'll see what we get here just to make sure everything's working properly so I'll hit F5 and uh, it sort of takes a minute to uh, spin up and uh, we'll see how this goes here okay so there's our uh, <clears throat> our head and tail of our of our data frame it looks like it got the the column names all correctly and you can see on the very left column there's the uh, index uh, field <clears throat> which we're going to account for in our destination table so I'll print uh, opening access to give some more feedback and now we're going to move over to our access connection which is kind of different from what you're normally going to see from from uh, from me uh, with my access stuff because normally I just you know do the ODBC thing and I just you know run a bunch of update statements or whatever uh, but in this case we want to use uh, SQL Alchemy and we want to do it all in one statement uh, which is one which is a nice way to do it um, so that uh, you don't have to you know fiddle around with parameters and things like that so I'll paste in this uh, connection string that I've had you know for most of our lessons that you've seen um, and uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our URL and uh, that's going to um, gonna help us uh, with our 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 engine so We'll go ahead and we're going to do this one. It's uh, Access Pi ODBC, and this is going to help us to create our connection to to Access. Um, it's a little bit different from how you normally see me connecting, uh, where I'm just uh, you know doing a bunch of statements. But um, this is going to have a nice translation layer in it, um, and so it will use the URL lib, and we're going to stick our connection string. Uh, with the uh, quote plus in there and that's gonna um, be very very handy for our connection so once we've got our uh, URL uh, we can go ahead and create our engine oh that should be access plus pi ODBC not access underscore pi ODBC uh, so we're gonna use access plus pi ODBC and uh, and then we can go ahead and create our engine and uh, so we'll say you know, access uh, engine uh, is equal to create engine, um, and then we'll put our URL in there for our connection, and uh, um, that's going to create the engine that's going to sort of um, sort of take care of a lot of stuff for us. So we can just sort of pass a command in to basically send all the data over. Um, then I'll I'll give some feedback. I'll say writing to to access. And, uh, and then we can sort of move on from there. Um, the next uh, thing that we'll do is we'll go uh, data frame to SQL and, uh, and then uh, we'll specify the table that we're gonna put it in. That was that billable underscore hours table that I created uh, at the beginning of the uh, video. And then we'll pass in the access engine as, a, as an argument and we'll say if exists uh, equals append. And that's going to append to a table if it's there. If it's not there, it'll create a new table. Uh, and, uh, and so we've created a table with all the fields in it. So uh, in this case, it's going to append it to the table. So we could run this file plus another file plus another file. If they all have the same structure, then they'll all be appended together into one big table. So uh, from there, I can go ahead and hit F5 and see what happens here. It does our uh, head and tail right of the uh, data frame. And then at the bottom here, you can see it's opened access. You know, it's writing to the access table. And then it says write complete, which is exactly what we want to see. And, uh, and then uh, we can go ahead and take a look at the data. I'll pull up access here. I'm just going to open it up and... Uh, open up that database and uh, I'll pull that one up up here onto screen so you can see it um, so there we go there's the billable hours table uh, that we created there's all the data inside and so if I can you know I can go and look there's our index which is our primary key in this case 
um, and all the other fields that came from the CSV. And, uh, you know, I can scroll through this table. Um, if I want to, you know, scroll down, I can see all the different, you know, companies and, and work hours. Uh, and I can go all the way to the end to make sure there is indeed uh, 444 records in there. Um, and uh, it looks like we're in good shape there. So uh, that is how you can do CSV to access using Python. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to do CSV to access in Python. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Click the bell when you see the bell and put any questions or comments you might have in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.